Hey guys, welcome back to the Semi Plum Bob channel, and today we're going to continue on with The Sims Medieval. So, today we're going to play the quest Very Bizarre. Amidst mounting international tensions, the much anticipated Great Bazaar had returned to the land, bringing with it legions of consumers from far and near to War Marble. Beyond the flurry of comrades, the bazaar was normally an opportunity to exchange news and bolster relations. However, the threat of war had seeped into this normally festive event and not every exchange is what it appears to be so we can either do deputize or out trade the traders i kind of want to play tilly mostly because um mostly because our kingdom is lacking of well-being and we got very high security and it says that it's maxed anyway so we're gonna do the very bizarre and we're gonna play as the uh, merchant this time around uh, gain pirate or guild allegiance. After a flurry of business, the market stalls were left with useless vendor trash. A friendly challenge uh, from a rival trader tests the ability of the merchant to turn one unsellable item into a mythical treasure and bragging rights as the most skilled merchant in the land. Uh, someone's trash is another person's treasure, shop killer, shop killer, <laughs> shopkeeper Tilly says. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this. The second day of the Great Bazaar found shopkeeper Tilly at the center of a crowd of customers, expertly dealing away the last few items on display in her stall. Despite the simmering tension of war, the festival had greatly been a success for the people of War Marble and the enterprising shopkeeper Tilly in particular. All right, so we need to acquire one wood via trading delivered to Carpenter, and then we need to require eye, five eye patches. We need to ask C Clerk Adelaide to attend to the shoppers. Most of the merchandise had been sold. My hired clerk should be able to manage the market while I attempt to be a gracious host host and then we gotta check merchandise and st market stalls after a busy day of commerce it's always good to check one supplies sweets all right so what we're gonna do is we're going to open our cargo hold get some wood out because i guarantee we got wood in there and we're gonna go ahead and deliver it and then we need to go get some eye patches and probably fill our stall with those eye patches oh we only got one wood left that's interesting and i'm gonna go ahead and uh take my eye patches back to be honest you're telling me even though i have wood i still have to go and sell to trade oh my god are you serious a ship appeared in the distance it was difficult to make out the markings but the ship looked to be a barbieville design Parley avoid. We're pretty friendly with the pirates of Barbie build these days. Let's sell towards them and parley. Avoid. Pirates are always a problem, even the friendly ones. Give them a wide berth. Let's let's see how they're doing. Uh oh. As the ship approached, the markings revealed that these pirates were part of the blood captain Hadron Grimm's ilk. Well aware of these pirates attack everyone everyone what well aware that these pirates attack everyone, you order the ship to turn away just as they opened fire. Uh we have the singed buff. Oh great. Okay, so we're going to check merchandise real quick. We checked it. That's done. And then we're gonna mine the stalls while I'm away. Let's go ahead and do that as well. Here, mine the stalls. I'm gonna make me some food and go to bed. Uh, rabbit soup. Certainly, ma'am. I'll man the shop. Maybe there's even a deal or two to be had. With a lull in the shopping, shopkeeper Tilly grudgingly decided to leave her stalls in the care of her hired help. The break from haggling offered shopkeeper Tilly the chance to trade mock pleasantries with her rival, the wandering trader Harom, at the town square. In exchange of information was well worth the wild boasts and perpetual competition. Visit Town Square. I do not relish hearing more of Trader Harome's boasts that grow wilder with every year and every drink. Yet it is a necessary chore if I am to catch up on the latest news from across the land. Shopkeeper Tilly arrived at War Marble's Town Square, cluttered with merchandise displays. Glancing about, she recognized her longtime rival sneering distastefully at the crowds. Trader Harome looked just as pumptuous as she remembered, but now this attitude was matched with gar garish finery and gaudy glittering trinkets. 
Oh my gosh. Exchange latest news. I do not relish hearing more of Trader Jerome's boasts that grow wilder with every year, yet it is a necessary chore if I am to catch up on the latest news from across the land. Let's do this. <laughs> the condescending smirk surfaced on Trader Jerome as it always did when shopkeeper Tilly inquired about the recent news from outside the kingdom. She reached level four of her merchant, so she has increased profit margin when buying and selling goods and increased chance to convince Sims to purchase goods. So we. Still as sheltered as ever in this backwater settlement, eh, Tilly? Well, for my usual fee of spirits, I'll spend you a tale of the master merchantalism that almost landed the treasure of all treasures as a trophy in my stall. Let's see. Serve Trader Jerome a drink. His appearance may be improved, but I'll bet his vices are as common as ever. A few drinks in Jerome should be a bit more bearable, or at least befuddled enough to tolerate. All right, so yeah, we need to brew something. We need to serve Trader Haroma drink. All right, let's give him some straight up ale. All right, then we need to serve a drink to Haroma. So weeks ago, I'd set up shop in a harbor town. After an especially profitable day, I came across an old sea dog at the inn. Over a few tankards, he told me of a legendary hull his gang had acquired, which supposedly included the fabled Wonder Pearl. Uh-huh. Get Trader Jerome drunk enough to talk about Wonder Pearl. That tale of the pirate's treasure and Trader Jerome's chance to claim it sounds a little far-fetched. Perhaps a few more rounds from the cask will uncover the truth of the matter. So we're going to serve another drink to him. Due to this acquisition, the band was being hunted and had no safe port to anchor. I was able to trade some baubles for a treasure map and an audience with the captain. But despite my limitless charm and deep pockets, I couldn't convince them to part with their booty. And if I can't, I doubt anyone else will claim their pearl for their own. Tell me more about this, uh, this pearl. Hmm? I'm off to a good start. Getting Trader Jerome drunk enough boast about the Wonder Pearl. But knowing him as I do, it may take a few more rounds before he's properly befuddled by booze. Mm. Here, drink more. We're in a celebration here, you know. Someday, I will be as wealthy and powerful as Guild Lord Demetrius Langrab. <laughs> It is said that he began his commercial empire selling a single wooden horse he carved himself as a young merchant prince of Tredony. Now that is a true traitor. Here, here's you another drink of ale. Woo! <laughs> oh, we're having a blast. You think you're a better traitor than me? <laughs> I say you have no chance to acquire those pirates' prized possession unless you happen to have a bit of oceanfront property to offer. But I've seen your stalls and heard you, heard you barter. You have not the inventory nor the skill to make such a deal. <laughs> and ha, in fact, I'll wager you couldn't turn a profit on a blade of grass weed. <laughs> he just collapsed on the ground. That's funny. All right, ask Clerk Adelaide about recent business at the market. Blast that drunken fool. He's not half the merchant I am. I have a mind to take the challenge, but first uh, to check back blah, 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 but first to check back on my hired help. Let's uh, ask about business. Let's see what she's got to say. There you are, shopkeeper Tilly. While you were away from the market, several customers stopped by looking for items. I wasn't sure what to do. First, there was an old fisherman who needed grass weed to fashion a new lure, but had no coin with which to purchase it. Then, a few moments later, a shifty sailor appeared, inquiring about lockpicks. I'm sorry, but I didn't bother mentioning we were fresh out, since I didn't like the look of him. Lastly, a well-armed foreign collector was seeking some religious artifacts. Unfortunately, we don't sell those. Who will tend to the marketplace? Order Clerk Adelaide to clean up around the market. Shopkeeper Tilly with Tidy at the market. Let's order her to do it. 
uh, we need to have a higher relationship with her so we could just chat with her and get a higher relationship to get her to clean the market it's like you are you don't know how to sell girl you don't know how to sell you need to clean the marketplace up okay can you at least do that for me bear soup Yes, boss, right away. And my apologies for the way I handled those recent shoppers. I just didn't think they were serious customers. Guess I still have a lot to learn about trading. Discuss trade with old Donnie the Angler. I'm sure my clerk's intentions were good, but it's my policy never to turn away a potential customer. Let's see what the fisherman needs. I'd like to discuss your trade request. <laughs> Pulling an empty line from the still waters, old Donnie the angler checked his bait box with a sigh before replying to shopkeeper Tilly. The fish just ain't biting. Sure don't help that I'm fresh out of lures. Spoke with your clerk about grass weed, but being a poor fisherman, I don't have the coin to pay. Still don't. If ye be open to tr to a trade, blah, blah, blah. if ye be open to a trade, I snared me a nice fat leech. It don't make for a good stew, but I'm sure a woman o' oh, your talents can find something for it. Hmm. Huh. A blade of grass weed should be easy to obtain. There is an ample supply in the nearby wildflowers. Obtain one tuft of grass weed. Trade one grass weed to old Donnie the angler for a leech. Odd coincidence that this fisherman would want the same item that trader Harone challenged me to make a profit from. Well, with this first interact with this first transaction, I am on my way to showing him. So let's trade for a leech. A particularly robust freshwater leech. A lively little vampiric specimen recently pulled from the pond and traded for a blade of grass weed. Ponder a leech trade. I suppose having a leech is an improvement over a blade of grass, but I'm not sure by how much. Ouch, little blood sucker! This constant wringling is unnerving. I don't know much about leeches. Are they supposed to behave this way once caught? Perhaps herbalist Audrey can tell me more about this. I'd hate to be scammed by some old fisherman. Trader Harome would never let me live it down. Right. Right. Why do you care so much about what he thinks anyway, huh? <laughs> Do you know much about leeches? Your leech is a feisty one indeed. Normally, they're more doctile out of the water. You know, I primarily use herbs for my remedies. But that leech might just drain a sick man dry of disease by itself. I'll give you a fresh vial of belladonna extract for it. A great for making tonics or keeping pests from chewing up your garden. You got yourself a deal, herbalist Audrey. The sooner you take it off my hands, the better I feel. I seen a man over here named Tinkerer Nicholas, and uh, he really uh, caught her eye. So we're going to chat him up. Maybe they could be together. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we could have a little merchant. Do you like me? I like you. Do you like me? It looks like they like each other. They are married! <laughs> Oh, and we made a little merchant, baby. She has a small vial of belladonna extract in her inventory. Distilled from one of the more potent native plants by the local herbalist, this noxious liquid has many apparent uses. Life is so fun. Life really is quite fun if you know where to look, she says. She's just happy. You just completed Big Spender for 15 points towards your watcher achievement level. Big Spender, spend 15,000 total samoles. Holy crap, we spent a lot of money. Aching back, carrying an extra sim around sure is hard on the back from pregnancy. Oh, oh my goodness. All right, so offer a trade for the Belladon extract to some townsfolk. What peasant wouldn't want a sample of Herbalist Audrey's craft from their farm's pest problems or their bathtub brewing? All right, can I interest you in some fine belladonna extract? I don't have much use for your bottle of plant juice. My crops have already been harvested, and I don't bother with potion making. You might try that wandering minstrel who's been looking for odd bits of inspiration. Though I'm not sure how useful that extract is for writing a masterpiece. 
Oh my god. Can I interest you in some fine belladonna extract? The second peasant also declined Shopkeeper Tilly's offer and rejoined the crowd. As she pocketed the vial of dark liquid, Shopkeeper Tilly stopped in surprise. A scrap of folded parchment occupied the pocket that was empty only a moment before. She quickly opened the note and read, Meet me by the front gate for a mutually beneficial exchange, an interested party. Okay, okay. Find the interested party who sent the note by the front gate. No look at the town square. Let's see if I can find the interested party who slipped me the note. Alright, so let's go by the front gate and see if we can't figure it out who did it. <laughs> here we are, here we are, here we are. <clears throat> find the interested party who sent the note by the front gate. A mysterious note and a secret rendezvous by the gates. Such secrecy for a bottle of plant extract. Are you an interested party? What? I don't have time for riddles or whatever it is you're asking me. The only thing I'm interested in is finding some honest guard work for me and my men. If you're not offering that, that b then be off with you. Okay, are you an interested party? Is it you? Pardon me? I'm not sure I understand your meaning, madame. Did I slip you a note? Certainly not. I am not looking for something special for my precious daughter. Oh, I am looking for something special for my precious daughter. I'm afraid I can't help you. Good day. Are you the interest party? The name's Jimmy. Jimmy two times, and I understand you recently came to possess a bit of belladonna extract. Don't concern yourself with how I found out. Just know that I could make use of that item in a special tonic. I be brewing. I will be willing to offer you a handful of blood moss for it. Uh-huh. A mysterious note. The torn piece of parchment that appears suddenly in an empty pocket requested a secret meeting by the front gate. Huh. I could unload this belladonna extract right here on Jimmy two times. Although I need to haggle for a better exchange. Then again, I don't know what he'd use the serum for, but it sounds a bit shifty. War Marble's physician is always in need of herbs, and I'm sure they can put it to a more worthy use. True. Who will Shopkeeper Tilly trade the Belladon extract to? Offer the herbal serum to the physician. Let's offer it to the physician. Um, we're going to decline you. You were shifty as hell, man. Decline Jimmy two times his offer to trade for extract. Tra trade challenge or not, I'd rather see War Marble and his citizens benefit from my deals than some dubious stranger. I'm sorry, I have to decline your offer. That'd be a shame, Shopkeeper Tilly. I'd hope for fair treatment her in War Marble. Guess me batch of grog will go without its special ingredient. If we cross paths again, I hope you be a bit more open-minded to an exchange. Mm -hmm. Offer the physician uh, the vial of plant extract. Time to make a trek over to the clinic and see if our local healer has any interest in this serum. So we need to have a higher relationship. So let's go down there and chat her up. I can always use more herbal ingredients for my various medicines, but this extract is particularly potent. Tell you what, bring me some fresh well water to dilute the serum and I'll give you a spare combat salve I just crafted. Cool, obtain one drought of well water to dilute the extract. Why I have to draw water from the healer is beyond me, but since I've already struck a deal, I'll hold up my end of it. The baby is coming. Make sure Tilly is at home so she can have a safe and comfortable birth. Sweet! Oh, she had a little girl! The only name that popped up was Edith. So, Edith is born. Hey! Hi, Edith. Welcome to the world, baby girl. We're gonna feed and cuddle her. Oh, oh, who is this? Jo Joss the urchin. Oh, that's cute. Oh, Cobra me. Oh, bro. Oh, that's cute. I like that interaction. That is too cute. One drought of fresh well water coming up. 
Here's the well water you requested. As promised, shopkeeper Tilly exchanged the drought of water for a potent combat salve. While the physician tended to crafting, shopkeeper Tilly had already begun to think of the next transaction. While pondering her next customer, a certain banged-up old guard came to mind, as well as the local blacksmith, who was having trouble training a new and accident-prone apprentice. Ooh, alright, so who will shopkeeper Tilly offer the salve to? The captain, Dominic, to offer them the combat salve or make arrangements with the blacksmith to trade the salve. She kind of thinks our blacksmith is creepy anyways. <laughs> so we are going to give it to the captain this time around. I came across the salve and thought of you. Yeah. Discuss an exchange with Captain Dominic. He was a good guard, but always a bit banged up. Who better to offer the salve to? <laughs> Ho there, friend Tilly. It's been an age. Offering me a combat salve, so you say? I'm glad you sought me out. I may no longer be the captain of the guard, but that won't stop me from training, and I'm always in need of some medicine. I can offer you a coin or two. No, that's the kingdom coming to when a merchant is not interested in some moles. Ha! Well, how about my old shield of the watch? It's pretty banged up, but has served me well, and the emblem alone might be worth something to someone. Check trade messages at a proclamation board. The message board at the town square is an invaluable tool for any resourceful merchant to check the latest supply and demand. Let me get back to you on that. Alright, so let's check the trade posts, see what we got here. Shopkeeper Tilly scanned the various messages on the board. Most were religious nature, but a few were trade requests. Missing royal signet ring. Presented information to royal advisor Vanessa. No questions asked. Skilled guards seeking work for the upcoming caravan season. Julius, the mercenary leader. Wanted. Unused, broken, rusty arms and armor. R uh, repairs guaranteed. All trades negotiable. Tinkerer Nicholas. Ooh, okay. Gage Tinker Nicholas's interest in the shield. <laughs> that is her husband. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. A tinkerer would find a great value in the worn shield I got from my guard friend. And perhaps that value would mean a better item in return for me. I have a damaged shield you might be interested in. Oh, really? Honey, I didn't know you wanted this. I got something <laughs> for you. Here you go, baby. <laughs> what a superb piece. The quality shows through the damage. No wonder. It carries the official emblem of War Marvel's watch. Restoring it would be a privilege. If you're willing to part with it, I can offer you some useful items. A newly patched cauldron, perhaps? How about a slightly nickeled plowshare? No? An almost complete set of lockpicks, then? Hmm... Trade with Tinker Nicholas for the lockpicks. Now we're getting somewhere. A set of lockpicks would be the first useful item I get. Still, no wonder pearl, though. Yeah, the shield for that set of lockpicks. I'll trade. Huh? Thanks, babe. Just like, I'm happy about that one. Looking at the collection of fine metal tools, shopkeeper Tilly suddenly recalled an earlier conversation with her help. A shifty sailor appeared, inquiring about lockpicks. I'm sorry, but I didn't bother mentioning we were fresh out, since I didn't like the look of him, 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 him. <laughs> Shopkeeper Tilly hadn't thought much of Clerk Adelaide's account, but now the exchange made much more sense. So, oh, present the set of lockpicks to Jimmy two times. I have a hunch you might like these. A shifty sailor seeking lockpicks. I have a pretty good idea who to talk with about my next transaction. Thought I'd run into you again, Shopkeeper Tilly. Oi, don't go flashing them tools around like that. People may get the wrong impression. Now, what makes you think I want them anyways? I knew it. I knew it. My clerk mentioned a furtive character sulking around the marketplace asking for similar items. Well, I may be able to find some use for them. Tell you what, I'll trade ye for this here ring. I found it laying beside a path to the castle, but ye must promise not to mention that I be the one who found it. The lockpicks for the ring. 
unload a set of lockpicks on Jimmy two times, an incomplete set of tools for a royal signet ring? This is either the trade of the week or he really wants to be rid of the ring. Either way, it's good for me. Oh my goodness, Tilly. I don't know. A royal signet ring. Only one place I know where that's sure to be an interested and hopefully grateful patron. Yeah, the queen. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't try to, like, piss her off because she has been through the Great Purge before. And Tilly, you weren't here during that, so you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. But I will tread lightly. I would be careful. I wouldn't piss her off. You understand, Tilly? Don't piss off the queen. She will execute you. Okay, anyways, we're going to Vanessa anyways. Whew! Wipe that sweat off your forehead and breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, find Royal Advisor Vanessa in the castle and inquire about the missing ring. Returning a missing Royal Signet ring will surely be well received in the castle and might earn me my next item. Inquire about missing ring. Yesterday, the Royal Scribe went down to the town square to partake in the bazaar. It wasn't until returning to the castle that he discovered his signet ring was missing. Since then, the scribe has been secluded in a tower until he can remember how the ring was misplaced. Neglect of the royal seal is neglect toward the monarch, and that just won't do. Ooh. Present the ring to royal advisor Vanessa. I wonder what the reward is for returning a piece of lost royal property. She's listening. She's listening. <laughs> well, look no further. I have found the ring. Interesting that you would turn up with the stolen signet ring, shopkeeper Tilly. I never took you for a petty thief. But no matter, tell me where you got it, or kindly wait until I summon the guards for your just reward. How will shopkeeper Tilly respond to the accusation of theft? Give up Jimmy two times as the source of the ring. Plead innocence to royal advisor Vanessa. We're just gonna give up Jimmy two times. I mean, why not? <laughs> Uh, this ain't worth it, trust me. It ain't worth it, Tilly. It's better someone else than you, okay? Give up Jimmy two times as the source of the ring. I'm not taking the fall for that pirate's crimes. I should have known acquiring that ring was far too easy. Uh, I need a higher relationship. Look, I did not steal the damn ring, okay? I traded it. I am a merchant, not a thief. It was a trade that I thought was a good trade, but apparently not. No, Apparently not. Who knew trades could be quite so exciting? Well, at least with this ornate quill, I can get back on track proving Trader Jerome wrong. I just need to find my next customer. I'm not surprised by this news. Ever since the start of this festival, there's been a marked increase in crime, mostly attributed to visiting foreigners, and the, this two times has been busier than most. But no more. Thank you for your honesty, shopkeeper Tilly. We will attend to this thief. Before you go, as a reward for returning the ring, take one of the scribe's ornate quills. He won't be needing it for a while. Write up an advertisement for the quill. The trade boards have served me well in the past, and I do have this fancy writing tool after all, so write in an advertisement for the quill. Oh. Shopkeeper Tilly reread the advertisement she just scribed. Looking to trade an ornate feathered quill, great condition, exotic plumage, seeking unique items of comparable value. All offers considered at the marketplace, Shopkeeper Tilly. So we need to post the quill advertisement at a proclamation board. The the ad is all written up. Time to post it on the community board and hope someone is interested in dealing. So let's go. Looking to trade an ornate feathered quill, great condition, exotic plumage, seeking unique items of comparable value, all offers considered at the marketplace. <laughs> Sweet. Hopefully enough people read the festival bulletins that one will be willing to make an offer at the quill. Tend to the market while awaiting an offer. This challenge has taken up all my time and my business has been all but neglected in the hands of my hired help. Shopkeeper Tilly, I presume? I read your post on the trade boards. Never have I seen an advertisement scripted with such finesse and drama. I can only assume it was pinned with the very same quill. I am a traveling board and 
um, bored. <laughs> I'm a traveling bard and playwright, but recently lost my creative spark. I must have this quill. It is the muse I have been looking for to finally craft my great masterpiece. Find out Minstrel Run Ryan's trade offer for the quill. She sure seems eager to acquire this quill, but for what in return? So after you eat, what are you willing to offer for the quill? Huh? Before I found my true calling making art, I was a scribe at the Great Peter in Ibrary. When I left, the monks gave me an illustrated copy of the Watcher's Tome, probably in hopes that I'd humbly return it to their ranks. For that quill, my missing muse, I offer you the tome in return. Agree to the deal with Minstrel Ryan for the tome. Oh my gosh, there's George the Pirate. A feather for an ancient religious text? I doubt I'll find a better exchange. You got yourself a deal. Here you are. All right. Read a watchful word. The best way to understand the value of this book is to read it. So let's read it and see what it's about. That was pretty archaic bit of text, but the heavy religious overtones reminded me of something Clerk Adelaide said earlier about a collector. I'll have to see if she knows anything about where I can locate this individual. Alright, so it says, ask Clark Adelaide about the location of the collector. While she's not the best merchant I've seen, Clark Adelaide does seem to have a wealth of helpful information. So, can you tell me where I might find this collector? The one from earlier? I think he said something about heading over towards the Watcher's Pavilion for a bit of reflection. Ah, find collector Christopher and discuss a, re a deal for the religious tome. I hope that collector is interested in this old musty book because I don't know who else would be. Uh, we need to have a higher relationship with him. You have an original copy of A Watcher's Word? I must have it! You see, I am the leader of Tredini's most successful mercenary guild, the Gold Guard, but a collector of relics long before that. In fact, my vast collection was the reason I formed the guild, as protection for my priceless artifacts. If you can part with that tome, I would be willing to pass off one of my guild's more lucrative contracts, an exclusive caravan guard agreement with Craft Hole for the trade season. What say you, Shopkeeper Tilly? How will Shopkeeper Tilly respond to Collector Christopher's offers? Accept the suggested trade as it is. Threaten him for a more lucrative deal. Um, well, we still haven't found the pearl, so let's, uh... If he wants it that bad, he will give us something. I'll need more return, or there may be legal complications. You greedy little snake. That contract is worth a small fortune, and yet you threaten me for more? Well, I do want the book. I want to avoid your backwards justice even more. Here is all the coin I have on me. Take it. Just na just know that your actions here today will not be well received upon my return to Tredany. Well, we don't like Tredonans anyway. Have you noticed? We sided with the Arvillians. We don't like the Tredonans. <laughs> this contract will make a guard company very successful if employed properly. There, there would be countless mercenaries who would kill for this agreement. However, I think I know who to approach about this. I just hope they have something to offer in return. Alright. Present the guard job contract to Julius, the mercenary leader. My only lead is at the mercenary leader by the gates. I hope he has something to trade for this contract. I may have a job opportunity for you. You are really offering me the guard job of the season? I can hardly believe it. After our automation malfunctioned in our last skirmish, I think my men were about to give up hope. Say, if you sign that contract over to us, I will give you my key to the battle golem. It will no longer, oh, it no longer knows how to fight, but it still makes for good company and can do any number of tasks. Just ignore its constant requests for a tea party and you'll get along just fine. My very own golem. That was definite. Oh, that has definite possibilities. All right, Julius, you got yourself a deal. Hand me to the throne room. 
Oh, head with me to the throne room and we'll use the royal scribe table to sign the contract over to you and make this agreement official. Alright, so let's go. We're gonna make this agreement official and then we need to go to bed. Oh! There she is! Let's take a look at her. Oh, she's got red hair like her mama! Oh, that's cute! I love her. She's so adorable. We are here, so let's uh, sign over the guard contract. Again, you have my thanks, shopkeeper Tilly. Here is the key to start your brand new, or rather slightly used, golem. It's powered down over by our camp in the forest clearing. Use it wisely. I am going to stay here and finish filling out this contract before I give the good news to my men. There is the golem I was promised. Now to get it up and running before I figure out how to turn a profit from it. Oh, there it is. Faulty Battle Golem. Oh, look at this thing. <laughs> look at this thing. Start golem with the key. Initializing startup sequence, core systems, functional, enter, oh, internal power, check, logic matrix, online, combat program, error, I would like some tea. <laughs> You there, merchant. I couldn't help overhearing your conversation with that brute in the throne room, and I had to see for myself. It is true. You have a functioning autom automation. I must have this for my daughter, Juliet. She doesn't leave the estate much, and I would like to give her a companion. Your construct uh, would be perfect. What do you want for it? Price is no object. Do you happen to have any beach property? Ask Baron Javen the Third if he has any property to trade. This may be my big break to get something those pirates would be willing to part with their treasure for. Beach property? Why, of course I do. A lovely little manor house overlooking its own secluded cove. I don't much enjoy the smell of the ocean and have been meaning to sell it. So it's yours if you'd bring the construct to my estate on the other side of the forest. I'll give you the land title in exchange for this magnificent collection of scrap metal. Order Felty Battle Golem to travel to Baron Javen the Third's manor. How do I get this machine to make the trip through the forest? Gollum, travel with me through the forest. <laughs> Order received. Follow protocol initiated. Query T. <laughs> Healthy profit margin when buying and selling goods and a fair chance to convince Sim to purchase goods. She reached level 5 in the merchant. Hell yeah. Alright. Bring faulty battle golem to the estate through the forest path. The property deed is as good as mine once I get this construct to the estate. So deliver golem to the estate. While the baron attended to the transfer of title for his unused beach property in the study, Trader Tilly climbed to the highest tower of the manor house to check to see how the faulty golem was getting along as a metallic setter. Against all odds, I managed to obtain the rights to some beachfront property. This means a new home for the pirates and the fabled wonder pearl for me if I can deal this right. Offer Jimmy two times the property deed for the wonder pearl. Ooh, uh oh, it's Jimmy two times again, and we already, oops, we 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 juked him twice. This is not good. I know of one pirate I can ask. The question is, will he be willing to help after our history? We need to have a higher uh, relationship. Half the world be searching for the doldrums gang and their wonder pearl. And ye have the nerve to ask me for help after betraying me? Ha! Huh, perhaps I be knowing how to contact them. Perhaps I don't. But if I want to find out, it's gonna cost. I think 300 Samoas should cover the pain and suffering I endured in ye stocks. Oh my god. Pay Jimmy two times to require 300 samoles to locate the pirate gang. I suppose I should have expected this treatment after betraying him. As long as his information is good, it'll be worth it. Here's your gold. I know I ticked you off. Sorry. 
Nice doing business with ye, Trader Tilly. I don't be knowing where the gold drums are hiding, but me bird does. I lend ye, uh, ye him to be your guide, but follow closely with your ship, as he be returning back to me after re reaching the destination. Okay. Send off Jimmy two times his bird to find the gold drums gang. I sure hope this bird is more reliable than its master. It's my only way to find the fugitive pirates to make my final trade. Dex's whistle. A sleek and mean-tempered bird owned by Jimmy two times. Let's call Dex. And send Dex to find the gold drums. Jimmy two times his golden parrot launched from Trader Tilly's arm, wheeling circles higher into the sky over the docks. Tilly glanced down toward the waiting ship and the final step to claiming her ultimate prize. Alright, follow the bird to the pirate rendezvous for the final trade. If Jimmy two times is correct, his bird will lead my ship right to the fugitive pirate gang. And for the small price of the Wonder Pearl, I'll provide them with a safe harbor to call home. Follow bird to do that final trade. Eager to be off, the guide bird soared towards the horizon. It was immediately lost by Trader Tilly, who was not focused enough to track its flight from the rolling deck. Returning to the docks, Trader Tilly found the parent pirate had returned to the circle of the ship, calling impatiently to depart. Oh, I gotta sleep. Trader Tilly boarded the ship, clutching the property deed that would become the trade of her lifetime. Once on the high seas, the kingdom envoy rendezvoused with their pirate escort and set course for the secluded cove described in the lease Trader Tilly proudly carried. Navigating turbulent waters and hidden reefs, the two ships dropped anchor in a concealed inlet. Uh, representatives from both territories met aboard Warmobble's vessel to make the exchange, while the pirate crew began setting up their new haven. With a flourish of her quill, the deed was transferred to the Arbavillian captain, who called for two brutish raiders to bring forth a sturdy lockbox. Reaching inside, Trader Tilly withdrew a nondescript clamshell, which opened to reveal a glowing pearl that bathed the cabin in a warm golden glow. Oh, what's this? Beckon of Hope. Powerful arcane magics have given Tilly a... Re Reprieve of all responsibilities. Wow. A clam shell holding the Wonder Pearl. A seemingly ordinary yet large clam shell held up close to the ear. A faint humming can be heard accompanied by a tingling feeling of power. I've done it! From a simple blade of grass weed, I willed and dealed my way to acquiring the fabled Wonder Pearl treasure. I cannot wait to see the look on Trader Hermon's face when I tell him I won the challenge and did something he never could. Uh, I thought you'd like to know the pearl is mine. Inform Trader Hermon you have obtained the Wonder Pearl. I've been so focused on proving my rival wrong, I haven't given any thought to what... I will do with my prize once the challenge was won. You got it? No, this can't be. How? With what? Inconceivable. I don't know how you did it, Tilly, and I'm not sure I want to. My only question is, what are you going to do with it now? He does pose a good question. I had been so focused on getting the Wonder Pearl that I gave little thought to what I'd do with it after. I'm sure I can make some good coins selling it to Trader Harome and rub in my rub in my victory at the same time or i could likely win some favor with the pirates by returning their treasure to them for a fee of course or if the myths are to be believed the wonder pearl could be used to bless its owner with legendary virtue Ooh. what will trader tilly do with the wonder pearl spurn trader harone by not selling it to him it's not gonna be yours no you can't have it Ha! I wouldn't dream of giving you the Wonder Pearl to the likes of you, Harome, no matter the price. I just wanted to prove once and for all who the better merchant truly really is. Now, will I keep it for myself or return it to those pirates? Well, shit, you went through all of this. You might as well get it and get that legendary trait. We're gonna get a legendary trait. Ooh! This is the first time I ever got a legendary trait. This is fun! 
uh, trait swapper. Your Sam has reached a point in life where their fatal flaw can be evolved into a legendary trait. Choose one of the three legendary traits shown and then click accept to switch them out. Close the screen if you wish to retain your Sim's fatal flaw. Oh my god! We can get one of these and then it will get rid of our fatal flaw. That's cool! Okay, so patient. Patient Sims are in any hurry and they're relaxed. Laid back nature makes it easier for them to make friends and be granted leniency in their responsibilities. Herculean. Like the mythological heroes of old, Herculean Sims possess great physical prowess and are high or nigh unbeatable in combat and spores. Ooh, that would be a good one for um, our knight. And Dread Pirate. A pirate's life for me is their motto. Dread Pirate Sims love to shake things up, especially on the high seas. I'm going to make her patient. I think that would be cool. So, she's patient. You just completed the first legend for five points towards your watch achievement level. The first legend, get a legendary trait for one sim. I did all that work to acquire the fabled wonder pearl, and so I think I've earned the right to use it for my own benefit. After all, Samoes come and go, but being blessed with legendary virtue is priceless. Ah, look! She doesn't have a fatal flaw anymore. She has a legendary trait now. Look at her! She's like, I don't have any flaws. <laughs> Suck it, world. <laughs> Very bizarre. And missed the hustle and haggling of War Marble's Great Bazaar, Trader Tilly came across a rival trader from Tredany who issued an impossible challenge to recover a fabled treasure from a gang of outlaw pirates. With her, oh, with just her wits, silver tongue, and sheer determination, Trader Tilly was able to start with a single blade of grass and traveled up until eventually obtaining the famed Wonder Pearl. After proving to her outraged nemesis that Tilly was indeed the best trader, she unleashed the gem's magic to be gifted with a legendary trait. She is now merchant level 6. Oh, that went back down to the Tredonins. Oh, that's weird. I don't know why that happened, but okay. But we got three well-being and one knowledge for that. That's sweet. So she's a level six. She can moderately high profit margin when buying and selling goods. Fair chance to convince Sims to purchase goods. So we, our well-being got very high because of that. Wow, that is, that's pretty cool. That's pretty, pretty cool. But, um, in the next part, we're going to unlock a, another, um, a hero. We're going to unlock another hero and, uh, play another, uh, war quest. And, yeah, just do one more war quest, I think. Is that what it is? Okay, yeah, we got 10 of everything, and so it looks like we got two more, two more quests, and then this uh, series is over, you guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I really hope you like this part, and I will see you in the next part of The Sims Medieval. <laughs> Everybody have a great day.